Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to a new YouTube video or a new YouTube channel. I don't know where I'm gonna post this. It's either gonna go on a new channel. I don't know the name of yet. So if it's here, welcome to my new channel. Probably gonna post it on a new YouTube channel because I don't want people I know seeing this video. But if you're watching this video, most likely have a 3GS that you wanna downgrade. And I highly recommend it because on 6.1.3, it's honestly not even really usable anymore. This one is on 4.1 but the majority of 3GSs are probably gonna be on 6.1.3. Now you can downgrade to 4.1 with an official IPSW because it's still being signed by Apple. So go ahead and do that. It's needed. Uh, restore it with iTunes. Uh, you just shift click or I think control click if you're on Mac uh, and select the IPSW file. Uh, I'll have it linked down in the description. You can find it on IPSW.me. So you need to downgrade it. If you downgrade it with iTunes on Windows, most likely what's gonna happen is it's gonna get stuck in a recovery loop. So it's gonna say it's on recovery and iTunes is gonna spit an error saying that it couldn't be restored to 4.1 because of an unknown error. It is restored to 4.1. So to fix that, you use a tool called iRev. Uh, it's created by I Hate Snow like years ago and it will fix this problem. Uh, all you have to do is click set auto boot to true and it will restart your phone. It'll look like it's updated again. It's not, it's just getting it out of the boot loop. And then you have to activate it with iTunes. It's really simple. You know, the restore itself takes like three minutes and then getting it out of a recovery loop takes two minutes. So really easy stuff. So once your phone is downgraded to 4.1, you're gonna need a few prerequisites. and that is a Windows 7 computer. I've tried it on Mac OS, many different versions. It doesn't really work. I've tried doing it on a Windows 7 virtual machine on a Windows 10 desktop or Windows 11. Didn't work, so I just have an old Dell computer right now that is running Windows 7. It works fantastically on Windows 7. Mileage may vary on Windows 7 virtual machines or Mac OS. Anyway, so you're gonna need a Windows 7 computer and you're also gonna need iTunes 12.4.2. Point four. This is really important. It needs to be the exact version. I'll link it down in the description. Um, they have it on IPSW.me, but for some reason, anytime I download the direct link, it doesn't give me the right version. So I'm just gonna upload a Mediafire link in the description. You're gonna need iRib, that tool that I was talking about earlier because it will most likely cause a recovery loop. And then you need a custom 3.1 IPSW, and I'll also have that link down in the description. And then you're also gonna need a official 4.1 IPSW, which you can find on IPSW.me. Shout out to Saunders Tech for the custom 3.1 IPSW. He either made it or, well, that's where I got it from. So shout out to him for that. Um, if he isn't the original developer of it, shout out to whoever that is. We're gonna hop into my computer real quick and start the process. Okay, we're on my computer now and I'm gonna open up this folder and this is everything that you need. I don't know if I mentioned it, but you also need Red Snow 0.9.6. RC16, it's very important, it's a specific version. But what we're gonna do is we are going to open that up first. Now, if you don't have iTunes 12.4.2.4, uh, you're gonna need it. And if you have a different version installed, then you have to delete the iTunes folder in your music folder. This one right here, delete it, install with the exe file that I have linked in the description, and that should work. So, Red Snow is open. Remember, it has to be downgraded already to 4.1. This won't work if it's just on 6.1.3. Now, I'm gonna plug my 3GS into the computer. And we're gonna browse, I'm gonna close iTunes because that could cause problems. We're gonna browse to, let me go to my the right folder. You're gonna need the 4.1, the official one. And this is to jailbreak the phone. This is model or is this newer model of the iPhone 3GS? And you can read this information, but if your IMEI starts with 011, it is old boot ROM and this will work. If it doesn't start with 011, it's a good chance that it's not gonna work. It's probably new boot ROM. So I'm gonna click no because mine is not the new boot ROM. You're gonna press next. It's gonna prepare the jailbreak data as it says. For this first time on Red Snow, we're gonna click only install Cydia, uh, nothing else and next. Uh, click next only when your device is plugged in. It shows you instructions on the screen about how to go into DFU mode. You know, turn off the phone. Once your phone is off, you're gonna hold the power button for three seconds, and then after three seconds, you're gonna hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds, and then after 10 seconds, you're gonna let go of the power button and only hold the home button. 
Both of my buttons are kind of broken. The power button doesn't really work all the time, and then the home button is kind of messed up, so I have to hold them really hard. You probably won't. Yours are probably in better condition than mine. Hold the power button for three seconds, and then press down on the home button for 10 seconds. And then let go of the power button and hold. And the phone should go into DFU mode. Yeah, so as you can see on the screen, uh, it popped up in recovery mode, but there is no recovery mode. So that means that you're in DFU. Uh, you can click next on Red Snow. Uh, you can follow the instructions and then it will start exploiting. This is just to jailbreak the device. Once it's jailbroken, then we can get to the next step. So I'm gonna skip through this. Okay, so the phone is now hopefully jailbroken. Uh, it took quite a minute, so I sped it up. But yeah, so Cydia is installed. So now I've got to, okay, wow, that's all the Wi-Fi network in my area. So, jeez, this cord is killing it. Uh, Cydia is gonna prepare the file system and then, oh man, this, this cable, this cable is killing me. All right, so. File system should be, yeah, okay, there we go. So, user, done, and I'm in the wrong time zone, but that's okay, so. And I'm also not connected to Wi-Fi. All right, so, moving back to the computer, we're gonna open up Red Snow once again. Uh, run it, and this time we're gonna also select the official 4.1. So it's gonna create the jailbreak environment, just click no. So instead of installing Cydia, we're gonna click just enter pond or pwned DFU mode right now. Um, this is gonna put the phone in pwned DFU mode and once again, we're gonna to have to put the phone in DFU mode first. So turn off the phone. Hold the power button for three seconds, then hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds, and then let go of the power button until it goes into DFU mode. All right, I think we're in, yep, DFU mode, there we go. Popped up on the phone, all right. So, click next, and it's gonna send our phone into pwned DFU mode. And done, all right, cool. So phone DFU mode, perfect. Then we're gonna shift restore iPhone. And then this is the custom 3.1 IPSW that we need. So select that and it's gonna start extracting the software. This can take a minute, so I'm gonna speed it up. Okay, so I thought that there was gonna be a recovery error or an iTunes error, but there wasn't. So it went smoothly and I hope it does for you too. But in the case that it does, I'm gonna show on my computer now what to do if it says, you know, iTunes couldn't restore the phone due to an unknown error, probably error code 1015. You would go to iRem, which I have linked in the description. You're probably gonna need it already for the 4.1 downgrade. Uh, it kinda happens a lot, but you just open up iRem and then I R E B. I just say it's IREB. But you click set auto boot true when the phone is plugged in in second recovery mode and it should fix it. This phone, if you couldn't tell by the home screen, you just go to general and about it is on iOS 3.1. This went a lot more smoothly than I thought. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like if you want to see more videos like this. Make sure to subscribe. I think the next one I might be doing an iPhone 3G. Uh, yes, this one still has the plastic wrap on it. I wish it was sealed though.
Actually, no, because then I couldn't use it. I'm gonna be doing an iPhone 3G downgrade video, and after that, I might do an iPhone 5S showcase video, because this one is on iOS 9.1. Um, I hope to get one on iOS 6.0 because that's a or 6.0.1 or 6.1 something with its release version. But this iPhone 5 that I have is on iOS 9.1 and it's been sitting on my shelf for like a week, so it's dead. But maybe next video I'll do that. Uh, let me know if you want to see that. Uh, in the meantime, thank you guys for watching. This was the iPhone 3GS iOS 3.1 downgrade. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.